We are changing the future of manufacturing. The speed, the breadth of innovation, it's like never before. It's new processes, it's new materials, it's new type of data analytics. And we're doing this in factories, we're doing this at suppliers, we're doing this with our customers. This is about changing the paradigm of manufacturing. And we're doing it around the clock with the best talent in the world. Take a journey with me now as we learn about some of these technologies. My name is James Young with the IT Manufacturing Lab. I'm a manufacturing engineer. I'm working on this technology called Direct Right Technology. So it's a manufacturing method where you can deposit a various uh, slurries on different uh, substrate materials. The good thing about this is we can put the sensor as close as possible to a component so that you can have the real idea of what the condition the components is facing. In the future, uh, we are all always talking about smart structures. We are talking about uh, industrial internet, right? So for using this technology, it is possible you can put sensors in a component and feedback data to the service conditions back to the internet where you can sense in the condition of the machine, you can intelligently control the, the service condition of the machine. So that's just bring conventional manufacturing to another level. My name is Roland Manessa and I'm currently the Advanced Manufacturing Technology Center Leader. We in Michigan play a very critical role in the engineering piloting of advanced technology. Uh, in particular, in Michigan, we are focused on the advancements of uh, manufacturing processes uh, that includes uh, machining, additive, and composites, as well as we are uh, growing a huge capability in the automation uh, and machine design capability. We are positioned very uniquely here in the state of Michigan uh, with uh, strong foundations in automation and automotive robotics to start to introduce automation concepts that are very unique to GE's products. Uh, automation from the perspective of uh, looking at our current processes and try to find uh, ways to improve their efficiency, their health and safety, their productivity, look at ways to really uh, uh, make our uh, solutions more efficient than how we do things today. My name is Ben Wei. I'm working for General Electric in Shanghai office. I'm the manager of Material and Manufacturing Group. Cooling hole drilling is one of the examples how we innovate. Cooling hole is very important because it's for jet engine hot section part. You know, the temperature can be over 1,000 degrees. And in order to, uh, for the gas turbine to work, you have to cool the part to be sure the part doesn't melt. Since we're drilling the cooling hole in super alloys, which is very hard, you know, we actually use electrical discharge. Uh, for mechanical drilling, it, it never worked for the small holes at high speed. So electrical discharge machining actually use two electrodes. When you put a high voltage across, you basically create a spark. The spark actually erodes the metal. If you over drill it, you can damage the part. If you under drill it, you cannot get the right size to get adequate cooling. So the trick is how to use advanced control and monitoring to be sure you drill every hole consistently. We actually improve the yield by more than 50% and also cut costs by millions of dollars a year. Hi, I'm Megha and I work at the Non-Destructive Evaluation Lab at G Global Research Bangalore. The current program that I'm involved in is looking at developing a high resolution computed tomography system and a technology that can enable you to now understand the microstructure of components. When we talk of non-destructive evaluation, what comes to mind is can we identify if there's a crack or a defect or not. But today, you can actually look through the complete volumetric information and enable accurate dimensional measurements. You can now understand the material's behavior itself. And these information can help in you know, changing, optimizing your manufacturing processes. You can also look at the well-being of these systems while they are in operation without having to stop them. My name is Matthew Beaumont and I am the lab manager here in Munich for GRC's Manufacturing and Materials Technologies. Recently we worked on a project with GE Distributed Power in Yenbach, Austria, which helped them on their way to a smart digital factory for their manufacturing of gas engines. The crankcases of Yenbacher's J620 uh, needed to be deburred after the initial machining. At the beginning of the project, this was still done completely manually. 
my research team looked at creating a fast and reliable deburring solution through the use of robotics. Now, that may seem quite easy and state of the art, but the challenge we had was to get the robot to be able to see the, the real edge of the part and adapt to the correct tool path. GE's Yenbaku gas engines team is now using the system in their manufacturing processes for the J620 for a cost-effective uh, process with consistent quality and ultimately more value for our customers. At GE Global Research, I get to work with some pretty amazing people and it's great to be able to collaborate with so many GE businesses around the world. These technologies are not only changing the way we work, but they're allowing us to make new products like never before. I have never been so excited about the way we are doing our development. Because as you saw, it's using the people around the globe, the facilities, the teams. This is where we're all in. This is where we're gonna win. We're bringing this all together on our brilliant factory floor. We're allowing us to become more digitized, to make us continuously learning. And this is just the start. We're changing the future of manufacturing. Come be a part of it.